Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to discuss the battle royale mode of Call of Duty Mobile. Just like any other battle royale game, the objective in CODBR is also to get on a plane with 99 other players, get to know them, say hi, but once you land, try not to die. So let's get started. Right off the bat, let's talk about one of the most important features of this mode, which is a little different from PUBG Mobile. You see, in PUBG Mobile, every character is equal. Chahe usne Godzilla ki costume kyun na pehni ho, ya phir underwear, but everybody is equal. But not in this game. In Call of Duty Mobile, you can choose between different classes for your character before you go into the war zone. Every class has a special set of abilities which are crucial for the survival of your team. Trap Master With the Trap Master, you can install high voltage current lines at places you think enemies might come. Once they pass through these wires, they get electrocuted and lose health quickly. Please note that these abilities are limited resources but can be recharged from an upgrade terminal. Trickster The primary ability of the Trickster is very deceiving. It's called Psychosis and it causes two holographic projections of you to move towards the enemy and bamboozle them. And then it becomes damn easy for you to take them down. Scout If you are Scout, then dude, I must say you play really well. <laughs> Jokes apart, as the scout you will have the ability to shoot a sensor dart where you suspect enemies could be hiding. And if they are, their position will be marked on your map. As the scout you'll also see fresh footsteps on the ground and this will definitely help you eliminate those hostiles. Ninja with the ninja, you can shoot a grapple hook that pulls you towards the target and you can reach locations inaccessible to non-ninja people. Secondly, the ninja makes absolutely zero noise while moving. This means that you can enemy directly behind your enemy and say to Surprise! Great for people who love stealth. Medic as the medic, you can create a medical station that will heal your allies and of course, you as well. I think a medic is a must for every team. Mechanic The mechanic has a special ability to summon an EMP drone which interferes with the hostiles and protects you. The mechanic can also see augmented images of vehicles and enemy traps through solid bodies. Defender. With the Defender, you can place a deformable shield which also flashbangs the enemy so that you have enough time to take cover and take them down. The Defender is also reinforced and has better resistance to all damages except bullets. Clown. The Clown can summon zombies which attack units near them. This can be very useful as the zombies do significant damage and can also kill you. Airborne With the Airborne class, you can summon a catapult that ejects you into the air and gives you wings so that you can glide to a whole new location. Very useful if you're fighting outside the safe zone. Poltergeist Now this is going to the next level here guys. With the Poltergeist, you can become nearly invisible for a short duration. I mean for the people who like to camp. You're telling me that they can be invisible as well? Wow, just wow. Smoke Bomber The Smoke Bomber can throw a cluster of smoke bombs which covers a wide area. And it's not just that, the Smoke Bomber can also see enemies through the smoke. So it's not just to protect yourself, it's also to attack the enemy. Hacker The Hacker has one of the coolest abilities in my opinion. If your enemy has installed trap wires or airborne catapult, the hacker can disable all enemy gadgets. He can also disable the minimap for enemies which will give them a real hard time. Now let's go to the map. 
This might come as a shocker to a lot of people but Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale mode has only one map. And this is how it used to look before the update. But now Call of Duty has added more locations to the map and it's even bigger. The new locations include Black Market, Downtown, Frigid Wetland, Harbour, Heat, Sanitarium and Ski Town. The map is divided into three main areas. The northern and the southern pieces of land make up the majority of the map and even though they are not two different islands, they are still separated by a stream of water. Then there is this small island in the southwestern side which is made up of just two locations, Pear and Nuketown. One pretty cool feature about the map is that when you are landing, you will see the location name on not just the map but in game as well. Just to make sure that you are landing at the right spot, pretty helpful for a newbie like me. Vehicles Let's quickly go through the various vehicles we have in the game. First off we have the ATV, the helicopter, the boat, ORV. Then we have the Antelope A20, after that we have the motorcycle and finally we have the massive tank. Weapons You will find a lot of similar weapons as PUBG Mobile in this game. The M4, the Type 25 Assault Rifle which is also QBZ, M16, AK117, AK47 and a lot of other assault rifles. You can check out all the weapons before you start a battle royale game in the loadout. Additional interactives Here are some additional interactive elements present in the game. Zipline Ziplines are pre-installed on the map at various locations for you to move around quickly but please be mindful that enemies could be hiding nearby. Dog tags. Players drop their dog tag once they are killed and it can be used to revive them. So if you kill an enemy, his teammate might be coming to pick up the dog tag, just be careful. Loot box. Loot boxes are spread across the map and can be very helpful if you are hot dropping as the green ones have weapons with all accessories in it. Terminal upgrade. Terminal upgrades are there to recharge your special class abilities. So that is it for this video. We hope you find it somewhat useful. There are a lot of other things which we have missed out on like the Nova gas grenade and airdrops also being marked on the map. We request you to please leave all those things in the comments below and let's build a helpful community for Call of Duty Mobile. And finally, this is Shashwat signing off. Thank you so much for watching.